Oh, sh What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose! What up, gamers? Oh, yeah, do you want to get lunch after this one since I just started recording? I was just thinking about that. I, Sorry. I, I ordered you a... You okay for one more? Yeah, of course, dude. Cool. Welcome back, everybody. Hi! I ordered a... I, I, I picked up a Mondo burrito from Taco Del Mar on my way over here. I still never... Oh, no, that's not true. I had it once. It's yeah. pretty good. Taco de Mar. Dude, uh, it's funny. Um, uh, At my sister's wedding a, a couple of years ago, before the Rona happened, uh, I uh, she actually had Taco Del Mar cater her wedding. Dude, I almost had Qdoba cater. Oh. And then they didn't really have great vegan options. Is it Qdoba or Qdoba? Qdoba. Because when I was younger, my dad always called it Qdoba, but nowadays he calls it Qdoba. Uh, no, it's uh, Qdoba. You know that for a fact? Um... No, but I'd be willing to put my willy on the table for it. Really? Yeah. You put your willy on the table, then I would. If somebody had a giant axe to cut it off, you, I didn't you say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. No, I would just put my dick on the table. Oh, really? You could just stare at it. That that sounds very pleasant. I'd have to get your microscope, but. Oh. Okay. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> hey, it's royal goobs. You can't. <laughs> Have a Royal Goobs episode without a micro penis. We're so original that <laughs> I'm using the same humor I used in elementary school. Um, so, dude. I wonder what elementary school me would think of me now. Uh, he'd probably be like, oh, so I don't advance in the slightest. I, I don't, uh, I guess I've peaked. Grow socially or <laughs> mentally. I guess my mind has peaked at the Can age I of Can I just currently not yet. go to school? So, um, what's what's going on here? You're just looking at... I like stairs, I like ladders, and I like wood. Are you... Oh, no, you're not. Okay, now you are. What? Moving the telescope. Um. No, it was automatic. So, uh... Wait, what the... Dude, E3 happened this week. What the fuck? Apparently, so I... I, I, I only paid attention to the Nintendo stuff. I looked a little bit at uh, Microsoft. Uh-huh. And, uh, <laughs> uh, apparently Capcom and... Same, though. Apparently, Capcom and Square Enix were kind of in. I think Microsoft had some good stuff, but I'm not a huge Microsoft. That's what you said. That I'm just I'm not a huge Microsoft fan in general. I I saw a little bit on the new Halo game, which yeah. looks like they're kind of taking it back to its roots somewhat. That'd be cool. Um, the newer Halo games have gotten kind of weird. Uh, well, you know, when you switch it to another company, it, oh, changes no. are inevitable. True. Um, but uh, there's too much visual clutter. In the new Halo games? Mm -hmm. Really? What do you like, mean? Like, they look really pretty, but that takes, like, part of the reason that Halo's so nice is, like, the older games, like, the maps, there's not a whole lot of, oh, God, I'm worried about this controller fucking me here. Um, <laughs> there's not a whole lot going on, so it's easy to see enemies, it's easy to see what's going on, you have, like, a nice visual read, but with new ones, there's, like, all this foliage and all these cool rocks and quarries and fucking alien technology and it, like you can't even fucking see anyone because they blend in you're just like what the fuck is going on here oh no I, stop me from making a, a covid mask joke just looking at all these chicks wearing their masks uh -oh. <laughs> it's like, too what? easy low, low hanging fruit okay so if i get thrown out here i'm gonna fucking baby they're right gonna me. throw you out because you're not wearing a mask <laughs> it's just like if you go into target or walmart or costco without a mask costco i think you don't have to wear one anymore well, there was one guy, th dude, there was a celebrity a couple weeks ago who got caught on video, or no, I think he recorded a video of uh, him trying to go into Costco without a mask, and the guy said, sorry, you can't come in, and the guy was super calm and nice, but the celebrity was like, you can't fuck let me you. in without a fucking mask, god oh, damn it. What the fuck, dude? Yep, see, that's... Are you kidding me, man? Oh. They don't see, they don't... I'm even, not even mad. They don't even give you a mask. But, oh, they didn't even throw yeah, you Yeah, I know, completely. I'm not even mad, bruh. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> like, oh no, you you hey, you go right outside that door. You don't you don't come through there again. It's a nice little checkpoint. Um They've got these big spears and they're just like <laughs> Uh yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna throw you I, how the fuck do they throw me out there, by the way? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know, one of them can climb the wall like <laughs> freaking Spider Man or something. Fucking Genghis Khan. So, um but yeah, so so um, p p apparently people were concerned when. What when the? What the? No, 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 no! What? What, dude? What? Climb that side. <sighs> you got it. You got it. You're good. Oh. What the fuck was that shit, dude? <laughs> so it was um, like there was a hitbox at her body. So so a lot of people were concerned that like uh, Nintendo's E3 wouldn't be good either because like Ubisoft wasn't what the that good. Shit? Did you see that? Did she fall? No, but I I don't know. She like farted out arrows. 
Um, it, so so people are like, uh, well, hopefully Nintendo's conference will, won't be as bad. And uh, apparently, people tend to agree that Nintendo's E3 was the best. And, uh, uh, yeah, it was pretty dope, man. I, I thought are, it was pretty solid. There are five games that I am excited about. Two of which, uh, uh, two, yeah, two of which I'm really pumped for, and then three, uh, one I'm pretty pumped for, and then two I am like gonna follow and maybe buy. What yeah. about you? So, um, oh, maybe after this cutscene, I'll say, no, no, but, but that's because... Hey, Becca, you want to eat some eggs? I got some here in my pocket from last week. I went to a store and I traded a pickle. And then they said, well, I got pickle juice. You want a pickled egg? And I said, yeah. And she put it in my pocket. And she said, if I give it to a friend, then I can get a pickled egg for free. If you don't hear this, I'll get it for me. Becca, why aren't you talking to me about my eggs? I was just feeding. Becca! Get me a fucking egg for a fucking Dragon Cloud. James. What? You're really not. Really not working with this two way scenario. Well, here. I'm trying to understand the story. I'm trying to roleplay eggs! Oh, well, you're skipping Come all on, the Come on, Megazord! I need you to come to Megazord! I don't know what the fuck is going on. He's trying to get eggs. So they stole the eggs and they lost them somehow. And one of them is in here. Okay. No, they went to the store and they got pickled eggs. Okay. God damn. Damn, you just pulled the Hunger Games on them. <laughs> uh, Remember the first movie? Somebody call Nicolas Cage. <laughs> bees. <laughs> nice. Two movie references in one. Anyway, so what happened? They got pickled eggs and they want to eat them, but now they you, can't. You know. I was talking to you, Becca. Yes. But you, you weren't role playing, XD gamer girl. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I disappointed you. What the? F <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, E3. E3. Oh yeah. So. Um. From the. <laughs> so. So from the very beginning. Um. Um, the bullshit thing about having E3 go on while you're at work is I had to wait until my breaks to get to watch it. So I have I had one 15 minute break where I could watch the first 15 minutes, and then I had to wait another hour and a half. I got my hooker. To watch chain. the oh, you got a hook shot. Nice. Yeah, now I can be a hooker. So um, I'm gonna be the best hooker in town, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna hook you, baby. Yo, hooker. So, so the first thing that really excited me was um Mario Party Superstars. Yep, Dude. that's that. Here, let's play the guessing game. Although I think I think I told you which games I'm definitely gonna buy, which games I think I'm gonna buy, and which games I might buy. Okay, I think you are really psyched. You're psyched for Mario Party Superstars. Yep. Okay, don't let's not talk about the other games yet. Let's focus on that B. Okay. Um. So, uh, oh, but dude, God, right when I saw it, uh, it's, it's funny, one of my friends on Twitter was like, dude, I think they're going to announce a new Mario Kart and a new Mario Party. And I was like, uh, I don't think so. I mean, Mario Kart, they only do one per console. Becca, I got the eggs! That's just, why is my name Becca now? Because she said Becca! Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> she was saying because, but then it said dot, 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 so it's Becca. Uh, okay. Thanks you Becca, me. bitch! I'm a Becca, bitch, okay. No, you are Becca, bitch. Oh, uh, okay. Comma. <laughs> so, um, Becca, bitch, comma, Becca. So my logic for that was: When will you eat my eggs? Let me fucking talk about E3. Fall. I am Andros. We, if you do not eat my eggs, I will lock you into this fire. I, 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 fucking shut up! I'm trying to talk about E3. But I want you to eat my eggs, shut Andros. Shut the fuck up! Can Jen hear us right now? I don't know. We'll ask her when she comes back in. Okay. So. <clears throat> It's gonna come here and spank us. So, 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 my friend uh, told me. In fact, he's probably watching right now. Mario Kart Gamer Dude, what's up, man? What he, up, Mario he told Kart me, Gamer Dude. He he told me that he thought that um they would announce those two games, and I was like, I don't know. I, I think they should only make one par Mario Party for every generation, for every game console. And then they announced Mario Party Superstars, and I was like, okay, is this a sequel to Super Mario Party? And it's like, no, it's like the top 100 game. Did you hear about that game? Yeah. On 3DS, apparently it sucked. Oh, no. I Oh wait, yes, I I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has like the top 100 best mini games from the whole series, but apparently they had like just one game board, 
And yeah. it was on 3DS, so a portable Mario Party mm. can't be as good as a console one. No, and I'm pretty sure that they um, had that stupid system where you're all in one vehicle. Maybe. Why did they fucking do that shit? Because oh I want to switch it up, I don't know. God, fucking. But, uh, so yeah, this one, as soon as I saw it, it said, oh, I saw the Peach's Cake board. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute, I recognize that. And they said that all the boards are from the N64 game. I was like, oh! <gasps> Becca, oh. you dare come to take my eggs? I will plant eggs in my butt and you will not get them. Oh god, I'm gonna slice you. I don't think this is doing anything. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I play games. But I also don't play games, you know what I'm saying? She was flip I'm so she's she's probably really dizzy from all that. She's gonna go vomit somewhere. <laughs> um, We're part of a motorcycle club. Ride or die, brother. Ninety nine or one percent. Um. Oh my God! It's a fish. Oh, there's oh there's another. Egg? Oh, I thought there was just one here. Okay, there's no, three there's, here and there's one in the ocean somewhere. No, there's like three in the ocean or four in the ocean. I think there's three. There's seven total. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, I know math. But yeah, dude. So just the fact that it's like. All the boards are from the N64 games, which those are the ones that I grew up with and have the most fond memories of. Those aren't the ones I grew up with. And, uh, yes. I grew up with the ones on Atari. Yeah, uh, no, you didn't. Yes? Yeah, no shit. No such shit exists. Um, and, uh... I feel like I'm wa I've been, like, wearing a diaper and soiling my pants really bad, and then when I touch a fish, they're like... <laughs> and they die. <laughs> um... And yeah, I thought all the mini games were going to be from the N64, but then I yeah. saw they're going to be from throughout the whole series, just like Top 100. Um, Shut up, bro. And so yeah, I hope Platform Peril comes back. Um, are there any mini games you Is hope? Is Platform Peril the one where you're like on little mushrooms and they come down? No, uh, that's um, Hex. No, not Hexagon Heat. Yeah, Hexagon. Hexagon Heat, something like that. Um, I think it's just called Hexagon. Hex dash A dash gone. Maybe it is. Uh, but uh. Man, that Andros voice really hurt my throat. <laughs> Elliot has a shit ton of energy, in case you guys can't tell. Yeah. Um, Dude, but I, yeah. I did nothing but play video games all day yesterday. <laughs> With all the wedding shit, I've just been like, go, 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 go. And so now I'm like, I have time to do fucking nothing. Nice. I wanted to make sure there's nothing down this hallway. There's nothing down that hallway. Okay, dokie. Um, in that case, it's time to shroop the boop, bitch. But yeah, the the one with the mushrooms coming up, I know for sure that that one is back. They showed it in the trailer. Um, I, I do hope Platform Peril comes back, but I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't. Um, the the beehive one where the honeycomb havoc one is back. Um, I don't know if you remember that. the one where like there's a block and there's all the fruit coming down, and oh. every time you hit it, it's like you decide who gets fucked over by the beehive. I don't remember that one. You'll remember it when you see it. I'm sure I will, yeah. But yeah, I'm super psyched about it. It's like, it's basically Mario Party. We love you, 90s kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, I'm, I'm so stoked for that game. I was so happy. I was like, oh, yes! And then after that, um, I think they announced Metroid Dread shortly after that. Yeah. And at first, I was getting real stoked because I thought they were going to be fucking announcing a Metroid Prime collection. Or Metroid Prime 4, which they said had Well, on no, because they said, you know... I hope you're excited waiting for Metroid Prime 4, but here's another Metroid Prime title. So I, or Metroid title we're working on. I was like... <laughs> they, 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 they better release the trilogy before 4 comes out. <laughs> Make the wait less of a pain. Because not only did they have to freaking delay it and give it back to Retro Studios, coronavirus happened. The Roni. Yeah, so now it's 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 been taking even longer. Yeah. Um. But yeah... But yeah, dude, Metroid Dread, it, it looks good. I, I, I'm excited because um, I played Samus Returns a couple years ago on 3DS, and I thought that was pretty fun. Yeah, dude. That's the other game I'm definitely going to buy. The the Emmy robot thing looks kind of cool. It's supposed to be really... It, it doesn't scare me. They're saying it's supposed to be kind of a scary robot. It, I'm sure it's much scarier when you actually play it and it's chasing you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Ooh, he's going to lick me. Um, But yeah, yeah. Don't lick me, Cyber Doggy. Apparently, yeah, it's it's the first original 2D Metroid game since Fusion 19 years ago. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Wow, that one was on Advance, right? It was. Yeah, actually, a year or two ago, I decided to play those for the first time ever, the Game Boy Advance ones. Yeah. I played them on Wii U, and uh, I didn't absolutely love them, but I had fun with them, especially uh, Metroid Zero Mission. It was a remake of the very first Metroid, but with, you know, 16-bit or 32-bit graphics or whatever. Mm. And uh, it has a little extra content and stuff like that. 
So yeah, I'm excited for it. It's it's looking really dope. Yeah, dude. No, I really like those kind of games where you like, I don't know, you have to backtrack and the map is so expansive. You're like, where do I go next? And like Hollow Knight. Yeah, I yeah, like you, Hollow Knight. You yep. got really into Hollow. I've I've never played it, but um. Yeah, Hollow Knight was dope. I'm I'm pumped for the next Hollow Knight because it's supposed to come out soon. Did I'm they fine. talk about it at E3? Oh. I don't know. I, I didn't see anything for E3 other than Nintendo. Oh, you pretty much skipped everything else. Well, I mean, I was kind of getting married during E3. That, that's true. I mean, you could have <laughs> didn't really up. have a whole lot of time. I mean, to... you could have caught up on it the next day when you were brain dead and recovering from No, because all the then my havoc, family but... who came from out of town came over to my house and we were still entertaining them. So, no, the whole weekend was just like, <laughs> busy as fuck. Um... And so then, uh, after Metroid Dread, let's see, um... Oh, yeah, okay, so a few days before that, they announced a new oh, no. Mario God Rabbids. God damn it, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, say, uh, the new Mario... Mario and Rabbids. Uh, Sparks of Hope. Rabies Rabbids. Yeah, I, I think it's kind of a silly title, but, uh, but uh, honestly, uh, I, I really liked the first oh, game, which you still haven't played. I, nope. I uh, I want to let you try it sometime and see what you think. It's I, I'm not usually into those um, turn-based strategy games. Yeah. Like XCOM and Advanced Wars, but uh, I I think it looks really cool. Um, you know, rabid, uh, <laughs> rabid Rosalina. Are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> it looks like they're gonna. <sighs> no, I didn't even see anything on that game. You got a solid snake that shit, man. Yeah. But yeah, um, Bram, bum, 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 bum. Dun, 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 dun. It, it's because they announced it during the Ubisoft uh, thing, which oh, that was the day of your wedding. That's why they they had a really cool extended cutscene trailer where it shows all the characters together in a spaceship, and they have Lumas with rabid faces on them now. Oh, <laughs> um, it's goofy. Go down, go down. But yeah, the first game was was pretty cool, and, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to, for the sequel. That'll be a good fun game next year. Yeah, man. Um. Yeah, the first game was really freaking hard for me. I'm replaying it right now, and I'm Are doing. Are there difficulty modes or just one? There's no difficulty mode. Um, playing it again, I know that I have to go back and do the challenge, the special challenges to increase my uh, experience points before I uh, go to the next levels. Because mm. um, after playing it the first time, and part of why it was hard for me is because I don't play those kinds of games, yeah. so I suck at them. <laughs> I'm used to simpler games like Mario, where it's like, just run around, brainless, haha, -ha, this is easy, this is made for five-year-olds. <laughs> Whereas Mario and Rabbids is like, no, this game's for grown-ass adults. <laughs> but still... Grown-ass adults. But still approachable enough for kids. Um... <laughs> um, what you doing there? I'm waiting. See on the mini map? <gasps> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that I don't have to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> you're just you're just thrown out again. God damn it! <laughs> Fuck my ass! <laughs> um, let's see what else. Um, after Metroid Dread. Oh yeah, Advance Wars. You're looking forward to that, dude. That game is the like that the next tier, but like pretty high up there. Like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get that game. But it was sixty dollars, and I was like. Sixty dollars for a remake of two advanced games seems a little steep, but at least it's two. Yeah, I'll probably still buy. It. I really like those games. I never played Advance Wars as a yeah, kid, dude, so that's like that's what I played when I went on vacation or like traveled in in a car and stuff. Nice. Oh, they were so good. Um, okay, so I've been in those two doors. We need to go over there and over there potentially. Okay. I'm a do. I could do this. I could do this, dude. Um, let's see. Then after Advance Wars, what else did they announce? Uh, Super Monkey Ball. Oh, I'm yeah, like, Super Monkey I'm Ball. I'm kind of interested in that. Okay, do, 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 do. Funny thing. Do, 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 As soon as... Long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? What? Um, when they announced... God damn it, dude. It's... I wish I had an N64 controller. No joke. Like... Yeah, yeah, I know. You can't... Micro control the hook shot. Use shitty controls or match better with a shittier controller. Yeah, you know, that's Wait. just how it works. Oh, that's a one way exit. So <laughs> that's where you came in, I think. No, it's not. Are you sure? Yep, positive. Oh, okay. Pie here. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. So, um, yeah, Monkey Ball, it's funny. As Monkey soon as, Ball. As soon as I saw the bananas appear and it said, We have a 20th anniversary event, I was like, Wait a minute. Is this for that rumored Donkey Kong game that they're making oh. right now? Because it was bananas. Because yeah. I, I don't know if you heard about the rumors. Like a week uh -uh. or two ago, go, um, People, there were rumors that the team that made Mario Odyssey uh -huh. are making a brand new Donkey Kong game because oh. you know Retro Studios is working on Metroid Prime yeah. Four right now, and I don't Dude, whatever whatever that would be so cool whatever games they were working on, and 
before then, I, I assume they canceled them or they're saving them for after Metro right. 24. But uh, yeah, dude, the people start saying, yeah, there's rumors that the Mario Odyssey team is making a Donkey Kong game. So now, I don't think there's anything out here, by the way, but I want to check. If, um, oh no, there is something out here. Oh, you can hook shot onto this to come in this way. Okay. Interesting. So yeah, the people are like, is it going to be another country game where it's 2D or will they make a 3D one? Mm. Cause they haven't made a 3D Donkey Kong game since no. 1999. They've only ever made one, right? <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> and it was made by Rare. So I I'd be excited for them to, cause I love Tropical Freeze. That's a, one of my favorite 2D platformers ever. It's just phenomenal. But uh, where are you going? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go when you did it and you do it? Careful. Wait, she's looking at it. Did you see that? Yeah, I know. She's like tracking me. What the hell? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> But yeah, no, I, th I, th I think a, th a new 3D Donkey Kong what game would be cool. Go in the dark. Kind of reboot Donkey Kong a little yeah. and take it in a new direction. I think that'd yeah. be sick. Um, oh, God, how oh, am I going to beat her? Ooh, I like her lipstick color better. Oh, this is a different girl, right? I wish I had that lipstick. She's wearing green. She's got green lips. The other one had, like, yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard as shit, dude. Okay, she needs to go to the hospital now. You just stabbed her in the gut, and, it, like, her intestines are pouring out, and there's blood everywhere. That's how it would go if this were Game of Thrones, you know? Uh, oh, my God, look, it's a big fishy tank. Um, We're at the fish library. Um, But, yeah, so Do you want to do me a flavor? Yeah, what's that? Do you want to check if there's only three in the fortress, three eggs? I think there are only three, but, you know, I'd hate to, like, come all this way and... Like, okay, sure. Oh, that's four. But yeah, as soon as I saw the freaking Super Monkey Ball announcement, I was like, it was like, here's a special announcement. And it, it showed the bananas, and it's like, oh, the Donkey Kong game. And then I saw I, I, the monkey in the ball. And so I was like, oh. <laughs> okay, well. But oh I, my god. But I, I did like Super Monkey Ball as a kid. Yeah. I, I had it on GameCube, and I, I played it with my cousin and sister all the time. Yeah, dude. We still have uh, Billy Hatcher in the. Big egg or whatever it's we called. We still gotta play that. Yeah. yeah. You got that for me for my birthday almost a year ago. Yeah, I got it last year. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. But yeah, but yeah, um, it's, it's apparently easy. Super Monkey Ball has been kind of crappy oh. for the past decade or so. Oh. Like, some of the game, like they remade Banana Blitz for Switch, but apparently people didn't like that. But I mean, I don't think people even like the original all that much. All right. So I'm looking for the eggs right now. Majora's Mask eggs. I, will, I won't go anywhere yet. They were laid by the Indi Indiegogo's singer, Lulu. Two hours later. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm being slow. I'm not finding it. <laughs> <laughs> you probably didn't look up the right thing. Seven eggs. Yes. Okay, just seven. But, oh, this is where I was just at. How to get the last three Zora eggs. Where? Okay, it's a YouTube video. Okay, so there are four here. Found it. I found it in half the time. <laughs> Hello. There's still one more here. Oh my god. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> my butthole. Okay, so there's four here. I, I do yeah, remember so saying gotten, something about that. I got on the It's fucking so, owned, dude! It's so annoying that, that you can't freaking Must carry be, more oh, than one. Uh, maybe it's up there where I'm looking. We gonna find out today, son. Okay. <laughs> we gonna find out today, son! Yeah, I'm just doing. gonna go to YouTube and type Majora's Mask All Eggs. Meat Morp. There meat we go. Morp, meat Morp, Meat Morp! Okay. I'm gonna find out right now. If there's an entryway over here, then I have found it. So yes, you, there is. Okay, we're good. I, I found it. Okay, you. so you've gotten three so far, and this will be the fourth one. Yep. Okay. I just didn't want to warp out and then be like... And then, uh, yeah, this will be perfect timing, because I think you said, like, 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. or some shit for the minigame. Yeah, 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 for the Romani range. So I probably want to speed up time when I get there, just Okay. So I don't have to double up. Wait, is... But isn't it... Is it just in there? Oh, it's only 9... It's only 9... About 9 p.m. right now, right? Okay, or 8 p.m. What's or even in there? Oh god, I don't, I don't even know if I want to attempt it. Yep, I won't. I won't. You sure? I'll come back for it. 
I don't can't, know. You can't just knock him out with the arrows and. I can. It's just really hard since the controls are. Oh god. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh. Phew. Phew. The controls are all buggered. What? What? Oh. I was like, is this room not rendering correctly? Purple. Nope. The green had the coolest lip lip gloss color. What? I get the feeling this is just the same chick you've been fighting in the past few times. She just changes her clothes and her <laughs> lips in color. Oh my god, I hit her twice! Oh, I am the almighty warrior! I have trained my whole life! You will not- I'm dead! <laughs> she, she believes that whenever she changes her colors, she like becomes stronger sometimes. This is the correct color! I will be ultra strong! <laughs> <laughs> uh, any magic? Oh wait, what? There's a second entry. Oh, that's probably just a quick exit. So, what happened? So what else about E3 is there? Let's see, they just dance is coming to Switch, but I don't. Play oh, just dude, I'm stoked for that! <laughs> oh my god. Um. Uh. Eh. I guess the last thing to say is uh, I I guess I'm disappointed that there's no 35th anniversary celebration for Zelda. Oh wait, WarioWare. That's the oh WarioWare. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm. A little hesitant about it because they're changing how it controls. Mm. Now, for every micro game, you play as a little character. Yeah. And jump around oh, there's and Jen. stuff. I was just gonna go find Jen. Jen, where have you been? Hi, Jen. I was talking to my grandma. Oh, you were inside. Yeah. I couldn't remember. I was like, did Jen come inside with us? Is she fucking weeding still? I, I, uh, did, did you hear me scream at Elliot earlier? Oh, yeah. I can hear you guys. Okay, good. <gasps> I was wondering. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, oh, shit, B. Elliot and I might be getting a divorce. We're not married. I, no, I, see, the thing is, we have a polyamorous relationship. Nope. You and Jen getting Google married. Google it, bitch! You and Jen getting married last weekend. No, no, what the fuck, you stupid fucking what the bitch, fuck you! That was I'm not even going for I don't even think it's worth it. That was Jen joining you and I's relationship it, and making it is, uh, polyamorous. I, uh, what's in that fucking chest, man? I bet you it's just a big rupee. But, but now that I'm... You and I are getting a divorce. It's just monogamous now. It's just I'm getting really hungry, too. <laughs> Why aren't you listening to me? Because I'm focused on this shit. But you got all the eggs. What's in that chest, though? God damn it. Here, I can look it up for okay. you. Okay. I'll probably take <laughs> twice as long. <laughs> I got it, dude. Okay. I'll, I'll find it. Six hours later. <laughs> Three weeks later. As I was trying to say earlier, it, Elliot and I were married, but no, then, we but then, Jen, Elliot married Jen. Nope. And so all three of us were married together, but now that we're divorced, Elliot and I are divorced. Nope. Now it's just them in a monogamous relationship. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sad. What is in the <laughs> chest? Oh God, the chest. Many months later. Are there multiple chests? Hmm. So. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Chest. Holds a chest, holds a silver rupee. Okay, we're good. Oh, that's we're it? Good. Yeah, okay. Woo. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Hi. <laughs> okay, we'll go turn this in. We'll stop the episode and then now uh, we'll go to the next one. Okay, sounds good. I'm getting real hungry. We still have one more thing, at least one more thing to talk about with E3. Um. Oh yeah, but it's yeah, so a warrior. Are you're looking forward to that? Yeah. It has co it has co-op and hopefully a versus mode. But uh, yeah. I, I I think I'll definitely get it because I. Why'd you pause? What? Oh, it hit my leg. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I I generally I don't think there's a single warrior game I dislike. Oh my god, it's one thirty. Maybe the one on Wii U, but uh, I you know I, i'm a little hesitant but I'm, I'm still gonna try it so yeah maybe you and i'll play it yeah co-op mode yeah dicking around yeah uh but i guess uh we'll, for the next episode we'll talk about our thoughts on uh the next zelda game yeah breath of the wild 2 it's poop it still doesn't have a legit title yeah elliot's not as excited about it as i am no <laughs> it's gonna be dog shit i don't know wait oh. big poop Big fucking hulking big poop. Come on. Big shitty. You're oh, you're over exaggerating. Big weenie roast Tuesday. Come on. Big fucking big poop. Weenie Hut Juniors. No, that place <laughs> rules. <laughs> I mean, you know, it looks like Skyward Sword but better. So. Okay, I'm really hungry. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.
That is the worst episode we've done so far today. <laughs> Ha! <laughs>